anti-malarian hormone that is AMH and AMH test may also be recommended if you have symptoms of PCOS that is the polycystic ovarian syndrome now, acne menstrual disorder excessive body and facial hair weight gain and reduce in breast size now this hormone plays multiple roles throughout a women's lifetime now AMH plays a crucial role in the development of a baby's sex organs in the uterus during pregnancy now it has been found that AMH levels are higher in male babies which prevents the development of female reproductive organs. Now, AMH levels in female babies are low and in women undergoing fertility treatments like IVF. Now, the AMH test gives the doctor an idea about the success of the procedure. A high AMH indicates that you have more than the required number of eggs for your age and you are more likely to respond better to hormonal stimulation. Low AMH level means you have fewer than the required number of eggs and the result of AMH may take a day to come. Now, AMH blood test result can mean different things to different people depending on what and why they got it done. So the normal range of AMH depends on the age and gender of a person. Now let's explain you what does low and high levels of AMH means. Now the higher AMH levels indicate you have sufficient or more than the required number of eggs and it also means you have better chances at conception. You have PCOS, so there is no cure for this condition. It's the symptoms that can be managed with lifestyle modifications and medications. Now, what does lower AMH levels indicate? You have fewer eggs, which means you experience difficulty in conception, which means you're also close to menopause. Now, let us understand what the experts suggest about the AMH levels. What is AMH? AMH is anti-malarian hormone and it is an indicator of the ovarian reserves in a female or we can say it is an indicator of the number of eggs a female has in the body. The normal value for AMH is 1.5 to 4 nanogram per ml and this value usually decreases as the aging process happens. As age advances, the value of AMH decreases. In cases of polycystic ovaries, we see a 3 to 4 times increase in the values of AMH and but it is the AMH level, the decreased AMH level cannot be increased by any medication. The values indicate that the ovarian reserves have are coming down. So the values below the uh, below one uh, nanogram per ml indicates that the patient should start hurrying up for a fertility and trying uh, and it should try to conceive faster. The AMH value single-handedly does not have any value. We have to correlate the patient's age as well as the, uh, the number of eggs which we see on an ultrasound also is important. So repeated uh, number of, you know, many times you should not repeat AMH level because it is a very costly investigation and it is not needed to repeat so many times. Thank you.